how do you expand business opportunities for yourself, for your company? So let's take a look in this video on what some of these ideas are. Specifically, I'm going to share with you what some of my backdoor strategies are, uh, the first step that you can take immediately, and I will show you some ideas on how to figure out what these expansion opportunities might be. So what is happening right now? It's like finding new business is only like the single most important thing like ever. So the designing these opportunities should be a particular strategy that your business follows because you have to keep filling the funnel. So there are a couple of options you have. Number one, you can find and explore vertical expansion opportunities like this photographer that's running behind me, Rachel Neville, who is a phenomenal dance photographer um, who grew her business to multiple six figures by finding these vertical expansions and really a strategy on how to grow her business systematically. For any of you who are in the creative fields, you know exactly how difficult it is for a lot of solopreneurs, you know, to start as a solopreneur and then build a company with employees to a certain size. But it is possible, but you got to figure out what some of these opportunities are. In her particular case, you know, she was doing workshops and then we figured out a strategy on how to change that to multiple workshops so she could do them more often and make more money with them. The second uh, idea I have for you is to look for business networks that are very specific. So you might want to go to the Chamber of Commerce, which is the obvious, but there really aren't all that many potential clients in the Chamber of Commerce. There is a much larger pool of potential clients when you go to industry conferences. So there's a difference between a conference I would go to to learn and a conference I go to where my potential clients are, where I might not learn because the subject matter that they're going to learn isn't my subject matter, but my potential clients are going there. So I might only go there for networking opportunities. Very important to do that. There are industry associations, um, you know, or networks like entrepreneur organization, like Vistage, like, um, you know, certification agencies for LGBTQ veteran women owned businesses and such that if you haven't uh, been certified, you need to do that because it puts you in front of a whole different opportunity that you would never be able to get to was it not for that. Another option for you to find these opportunity for expansion is to add speaking and become an authority on the subject by being in front of your potential clients, speaking about your subject matter expertise. And as they are familiar with you, they get to know you, they like you, they might be hiring you. So if you are ignoring these expansion opportunities, it means that your business will continue to go through cycles. You may be busy now, but you don't fill the funnel, the funnel falls off, you know how that goes. So. If you are interested in exploring vertical market opportunities and expansion opportunities, please check out a free tool that I offer. I have seven Uncovery Sessions a month that I give away for free. Go to uncoverysession.com, fill it out, and then let's get on a call and find out what we can do to grow, build, and scale your business. Thank you so much for watching.